Hi, I'm Jane and this is Loopy Mabel Vintage Style. If you're very new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you love crochet and sewing, then this is the perfect channel for you. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support, as I always say. Uh, in today's vlog, it's not a tutorial, it's a vlog, and it's about my latest um, handmade dressmaking creation that I've been up to, which is my wild gown. So here she is in all her glory and I'm going to chat to you about what the fabric I used and how I found the pattern, my own personal review. So if you're interested, grab a coffee, I'm going to grab one, I shall see you back here in a moment. today's vlog it's about what I've been up to in my dressmaking projects this week I did mention briefly what I was doing in my last vlog I'll put the link for that up there I think it was when I was chatting about my Sarah shirt that I've just made recently I must say I've had absolutely loads of compliments when I've worn this um, nobody can believe that it's handmade everybody thought it was shop bought so that was really good and so that's it actually it makes dressmaking even more worthwhile when people do compliment you and uh, it just makes it spurs me on to just keep on making my own wardrobe because that's what I'm definitely going to do from now on so yeah that was really lovely so yeah so I briefly mentioned about the reindeer fabric that I got this is the uh, lovely red reindeer fabric that I talked about in that last video that I showed you cotton fabric I received from Minerva Crafts who kindly asked me if I would do a, a post. They give, they give you the fabric if you do a blog post with lots of lovely pictures in return and because they always work in advance they were asking for anybody who'd like to do one with the Christmas fabrics. So I had a little look through the fabrics that was on offer and this one caught my eye because I'm not really into anything too gimmicky but this one I thought we had quite a bit of a vintage feel and it caught my eye and I asked for 2.5 metres. It came and you've got a, it came I think it was about two weeks ago and I thought it would be perfect for the wild gown. So I put the two together and here it is sitting absolutely gorgeous on Mabel the mannequin. So I put it, I put it on the mannequin just so I can explain briefly to you what, so what it looks like and then you can see it a bit better and then I'll pop it on later on in the video with me wearing it and I'll also put some pictures of me prancing about in the garden trying to be a supermodel. I'll just give you a quick close-up of the reindeer fabric if you wanted to see it close up so I'm just going to come closer to the camera. So it's a lovely cotton, 100% cotton fabric with red background and obviously white reindeers, white little Christmas trees and sprigs and obviously snowflakes. And I just thought that is perfect for a Christmas day outfit for me. And I thought if I had enough, I would also make a little pinny for for my granddaughter. But that's all I had left. So there was hardly any wastage. That's all I've got left. That little bit of scrap there. So there's not enough really to do a pinny for, for my granddaughter. But there's enough. I may make myself like a little headband to wear on Christmas Day. Around, you know, around my hair. Not sure yet. But that's all that's left. So very little wastage there. When I got the... The reindeer fabric I wasn't too sure what I was going to use it for but I ordered two and a half meters because I thought two and a half meters would probably cover quite a lot of the patterns that I've got. I just remembered I had the wilder gown which I'd downloaded but I hadn't made anything with it so I thought oh, I wonder if I'd have enough for the wilder gown and I did thankfully. So let's go back to the wilder gown. The wilder gown is an absolutely fabulous pattern that I downloaded from the Friday Pattern Company if you've never heard of them. I'll show you a picture of 
the pattern there so it's can be made in three ways so this is the full length version like a dress lovely long dress version which I knew I probably would never wear but I'll show you the other versions that you can do and it's three versions which is absolutely brilliant I love the fact that you can chop and choose and it's one of these patterns that you can actually do your own pattern hacks to it as well so I went for the tunic the tunic length so it's just got the one tier and then I went for the three quarter sleeves rather than the long sleeves because I'm planning on probably wearing a white a white long sleeve top underneath near in the winter so that'll go perfect with that and then you've got the option of also doing the blouse which I like too so I'll definitely have a go at making that and obviously you, ch you can chop and choose your sleeves but the bit that I love the most which is right up my street is the gathered neckline absolutely love the gathered neckline there's only one thing I would say and it's not even a fault that I would say with the wilder gown is there's no pockets but if I made it again I would probably slip a couple of pockets in the side seams and probably put my own in but also though I thought that I could add well not in this obviously not on this one now but if I did any future ones do you remember that um, crochet tutorial I did for the bobble heart pocket well I thought I could add a couple of them to the front in fact the white one would have gone quite nice on the front of on front of this so there is just pinned it on so that could be an option which I think is quite pretty nice little crochet pocket on the front I may even do that yet not sure I could also change this symbol and make it into maybe a Christmas tree that might be going a bit overboard maybe I don't know but yeah so if I made it again I may add pockets too but it's not a fault it's not a complaint it's just probably because I do like a pocket but I this was one of the best easiest patterns I have followed for a long long time the instructions were clear the other thing I liked when you're going through the pattern as well as these gorgeous little um, little encouraging words at the bottom of some of the pages just to say keep going you're doing great well done you're nearly there which I thought was quite good but it was really really simple pattern uh, oh, just a dream absolute dream to make a couple of hours to make it once you've cut it out and you've stuck all your you know, stuck all your pattern together which I don't mind I quite like I think it's quite therapeutic sticking all the pattern pieces together and then cutting them out that doesn't bother me at all the only thing that bothers me is the sellotape noise of the sellotape going all the time but apart from that no it doesn't bother me and yeah it was an absolute breeze so I'll just give you a rot I'll just rotate it round so it's this tier is like a really lovely gather and just so Christmassy I can't wait to wear it for Christmas and I'll just lower, lower Mabel down a bit more so you can see the neck and then we've got this gorgeous gorgeous gathered neck which is just right up my street I do like a neck as you know if you've watched my videos you do, I do like to have my neck covered or something round it or higher neck and if you remember that video where I changed my Carson dress where I revamped it with a curtain and I raised the neck area I don't I don't, I don't either, I'm not sure whether I don't suit a lower neck I don't like the feel of having bare skin around this area I'm not sure so that's another reason why I picked this pattern because the neck is this gorgeous gathered neck and it's got this lovely bow tie and it's got this lovely like opening where you top, top stitch along the opening and then it's like it's got a channel in where you threaded the tie and obviously that pulls it into a gather so you can have it more gathered if you wanted it depends how you wanted to wear it and then obviously tie it in a bow and just I just love it and if I did another one as well you could also do a little bit of a contrast thing going on uh, you could have like a contrast tie with maybe contrast maybe pocket 
Oh, contrast sleeves. I'm not sure I've got a few ideas in my head because it's a, it's a really good pattern where I could maybe use up some of my leftover scrap fabrics that I've got going on where there's not enough to make a full outfit for but there's enough to do parts of an outfit so I may do a little bit of a patchworky effect one but I'm definitely going to make this again this is right up my street and if you like the high neckline and the gathered neckline definitely give it a try I can't go on too much about it it's just a really gorgeous pattern I did the extra large size which is loads of sizes too the sizes go all the way from go from all the way from extra small a 32 33 bust all the way through to a 4XXXL right the way up to a 53 54 inch bust so this loads and loads of sizes to choose from I went for the extra large because I fell again in between the large and the extra large so I'd rather err on the side of caution than do it too small and I went on the extra large and there's quite there's plenty of room for me it's not too big just nice just comfortable for me so that's the size I went for extra large and I'll definitely make this one again and I'm definitely going to make the blouse version I probably wouldn't make the dress version because it's not really my thing wearing dresses but it is such a pretty pretty pattern the dress if you like dresses it's so lovely and how floaty it is obviously depending on what fabric you pick so I'll show you some pictures of me floating about in the garden uh, trying to do some pausing which probably doesn't look all that good but yeah so this is me and you can see the high neck there and the length of the first layer or the first tier that I did so it's like a smock um, smock tunic type of length which is what I tend to wear and it would just be something that I obviously it's in the Christmas fabric so I won't be wearing it now till December but if I made it in one of my other fabrics it, I know it would be a, become a staple part of my wardrobe definitely this is going to be one of the things that I know I will wear wear with lots lots of times so it's definitely going to go back on my cutting table again and make some more so I'll pop it on so you can see me wearing it and I'll show you what it looks like on me close up so I've got it on and well if I say I love it once I've said I've loved it 50 times I think but I really really do love this pattern so if you haven't heard of the wilder gown or you've never heard even of the Friday pattern company I would highly recommend you go and check them out I am definitely going to make this again definitely in probably maybe in a different type of fabric maybe go for a stretch fabric see what the drape would be like that on a stretch fabric but obviously this is in my lovely Christmas reindeer fabric so it's gonna unfortunately go away now until well obviously Christmas so where are we now beginning of August so I've got August September October November at least four months it's gonna have to go away and hang in the wardrobe but at least I've got my Christmas day outfit ready and it's made so I suppose that's something so yeah I shall keep you updated if I make another one but as I said before definitely if you haven't tried the wilder gown definitely go for it so in case you're wondering what I was wearing on my feet if you couldn't quite see on those pictures of me floating about in my garden uh, it was my lovely floral clogs that my husband bought me oh about 20 25 years ago and I've hardly worn them to be fair because I didn't think they were really hard to match with my clothes but now I don't care I'm, I just wear them with whatever I want but they do go really well with the red in my reindeer fabric wilder gown and I'll just give you a quick close-up if you wanted to see them close up really pretty flowers yellow and ready pink flowers on my clogs really comfortable this is my third pair of clogs I've got and as I say my husband bought me these and I must have only worn them no more than a dozen times in all those years at one point when we, when we moved house 
I know I'm going off tangent here, but at one point when we moved house, I almost, almost threw them away because I just thought, well, I'm never going to wear them. I haven't worn them, hardly wore them at all, and absolutely love them, but they do go really well with this red. So there they go. There's the clogs. If you're wondering what I was wearing on my feet. So I hope you enjoyed this little video log of my latest sewing escapades this week and if you did don't please don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up and as always if you like my creations and you like my video content please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that, that little bell at the side that little bell will then also notify you when I do bring any videos out and you'll never miss out and if you've also had a go at making the wilder gown which version did you make what fabric did you use please let us know in the comments box below I love to hear what everybody's been making and we all share our dressmaking uh, projects that would be really good too but until the next time I'm off to do some more crochet I'm still working on my autumn wrap that I've been showing sneaky peeks uh, over on Instagram so you can go and have a see what it looks like so far so I'm going to be working on that this afternoon and also going to be writing probably a blog post on my reindeer fabric and my uh, wilder gown project but until the next time please take care and happy crafting whatever you're doing bye for now